Okay, check it out, man. You're hanging out with Tim and my partner Scott at our machine shop down in Fort Worth where we bring the best in head stud products to you. And uh, today we're going to go over the products and kind of give you a step-by-step -step of how we uh, are creating some of the strongest studs to date. All right, Scott. Okay, now you can go ahead and... All right, so these are the heat-treated parts and we turn down the center of these because after they heat treat, they start to warp a bit. So we turn them down to keep them straight, and then we hold it here, and then we machine both ends, and we thread both ends, so that they uh, everything's concentric. And it stays straight, so this is like the, this is way past ARPs. Although they have a, some insight on what we do, um, they just do vertical heat treating after the product's already been done. Okay. So over here we have, this is the, uh, the fresh cuts. So we cut them to length and we uh, machine the chamfers on both ends and then we set them to heat treat. And this is how they come back from heat treat. So yeah. we have, so all these, all these, uh, this box of stuff right here is an absolute, this is a treasure box. Yeah. It's <laughs> worth a lot of money, bro. So this right here is like the first process in our CCC uh, North Star, high performance North Star head studs. And so this is what happens. They come back from heat treat. They're already cut to links. Um, they're ready to, for the machine at this point, but uh, that's awful pretty. So from here, then we go to the next step. So uh, we actually machine the, uh, like I said, the center to keep them straight. And then we um, machine them on our CNC over here. Okay. And so, Oh, we got one in there right now, huh? Yeah, yeah, we already have one in here right now. So, so uh, usually we use coolant, but we can take this down and start using oil. Like we told you guys, we are actually doing these thread rolling now. Yes, this is the, the next level in head studs to do using 4140 and mill still. small machines here. So when you're cutting the these are pre-hardened, this is pre-hardened 4140 in mills still. Right. So the, the roller dies. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, there's reasons for a door.
Yes. Nice. This is roll threading hardened steel. This is what's wearing out right here. Yeah, these thread dies right here. So we go the extra mile and the extra cost to replace those jewels to make this all possible. He said I was independently wealthy. <laughs> I said if that's what it means to bring the best product, I guess so. Yeah, so we check them all with our ring gauges to make sure that they're uh, they're correct. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but with roll threads, they always they always come good. Yeah, I noticed that on the the last on the tops. Mm -hmm. On the la did you roll thread on the last on the last batch? that has got the black bottom. Uh, we didn't roll thread on the tops just because uh, we didn't it was actually. Cut. Yeah, so well, they they because it went down. But you know nuts go down really smooth yeah, yeah so this this is actually the beginning of the next level right here right so yeah. this will be that this is going to be a state-of-the-art product come this way so um you you're doing them all to this point right here how does how do we uh right so then uh that's actually later so uh we actually have to do the next setup so after that we actually hold it again here to make sure that it's all concentric Right. Because we just machined it, it's holding here. So we hold here, and then we turn this down with the five eighths. Okay. And then when we're done, we actually hold both ends, and then and we then turn it down. And then finish the right. center part. So that way, everything is straight all the way across. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome stuff. Beautiful. Do we do we have? I. Uh, yeah, we have uh, any finished product. We do. We do. Beautiful stuff, man. So as you can see. Scott is always busy. Too busy to clean up. <laughs> this looks like my shop right after I'm, I've, you know, after I've got one engine done, I've got to stop and just clean, you know. Right. Yeah. No. It's uh. So right here we have process in itself. So this, this is, the is finished. a finished product, and this is roll threaded, both ends, and this right here is 4140 a mil preheat treated. Yeah. Then, and then we we spend the money to make that happen. We heat treat it. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece of equipment right there. Yeah. Yeah, and the red, the threads when they roll, they look really good. So that's beautiful. Scott. I think uh, you guys will like them. Yeah, <laughs> I think so, man. I and the guys, I always think about the guys who just previously had purchased them before we. Every time we change. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, well, now they're gonna feel like they've been left out of the loop, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this thing here, we've been trying, trying to make it. If before, like the first, the first time you order, we single pointed all the threads, uh, then send a heat sheet because the material is still soft. Right. Then we send a heat sheet. Only one problem you get is kind of warm, right? You already got right, a, little, right. a little bit warm. And then, but this one now we have to do it after heat sheet. When we single pointed, each pair of threads cost up four dollar per instance. Just the thread inserts because the material can get harder. Right. And then there's no way you do it. Four dollar here, four dollar here. How much would this one cost? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> then we that's the only one way we can try to try to use the thread rope. We find that we find a company, thread rope company say yeah, we what well, we can help it, but it's it will call it's still call but cost less than the, you use single point. Yeah. And then that's why we we spent spend, spend about three four thousand dollars for the tooling already just for tooling. Yeah. Yeah. Then it come out very good. Yeah. And they come out the part come out very straight. Beautiful. And it's then beautiful it, thing. It's hard enough and straight and look shiny. Yeah. Look good. Man, so, they don't get nice and that. Ain't nobody's ever gone that far with them. You know, yeah. ARP don't make head studs like yeah. that. So we're on top of the world right now with that product. Yeah. We, last time we tried, this one we tried to use single uh, This one we tried to use, heat treated, single pointed. Yeah. Cost $4 per in. 
yeah. just for for insert only, not for labor. Yeah. And then that, and then uh, the second. Remember one time you had the block train in this tiny one. That's yeah. what we tried before, but still yeah. have some. The problem is it had the net over here, and it weak. After he took still a little bit like this, all this group here too much. It will, we cannot sell it. We scrap it. Yeah. It still costs us too much money. Gotcha. Yeah, and then. Uh, uh, one time we've been using, uh, we've been trying four or five times, but it's cost money. Every, every hit trip for five pieces cost about 100 bucks. We try to, uh, to try to make high, higher level technology, try to make it good yes. and uh, good for you. Yep. But it still can get good like this time. But this time it can really cost. That's what it's about, you know, yes. improving yeah. in, in, in technology. So. Mm -hmm. So now I feel pretty comfortable that we're actually at a point now that yeah. we can we can say, hey, we have the product of a lifetime. Ain't nobody can match that. And uh, and I, you know, these guys knows it's costing a lot of money yeah. to manufacture, and yeah. they don't understand how I'm able to afford right. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't care, man. We that's you know that wasn't even about that. This this is see? for our own product, you know. Yeah. Did you see? Did you see on a chip? No. Uh, oh, that's the die, huh? Yeah, yeah that's the die. Yeah. It's only 200, 200 piece. About 200 pieces. The chip. Look, it's a twelve row the chipping. Yeah, I see it. You see it? See it? Yeah. Chipping. And look, it's chipping. Yeah. Sure Five hundred. Uh, three hundred dollars per. Three hundred dollars set. That's what you said. Yeah. You said three hundred dollars a set, and I was like, oh, oh okay. The $300 yeah. set. I ain't gonna stop now. We can make it for about 200 pot. So average a dollar fifty per pot. Cheaper than we single pot. Four dollar per pot. Yeah, you know, that's cheaper. Big, big cheaper, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's so, good. Well, that's awesome stuff, man. That's incredible. <laughs> that's such a beautiful product. Yeah, I, I know you are, and right now, that's that's incredible. You know, that's that's awesome that you that you were able to do that, yeah. and uh, so we can move forward. That was one of the biggest things is to be, we, our reputation is we always have them in stock, and they always ship out next day, and we don't take money unless it's ready to go. Yeah. You know, and that's something that that was competitor couldn't couldn't keep up with. Mm -hmm. You know, but you got to have you know the right. The right equipment for one, you know, and then the right guys to do the work, you know. So that's awesome stuff, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, footage. We're gonna bring you some more footage. These are my partners here at the machine shop, and we look forward to serving you for many years to come. When we start, we raise any more technology, we'll bring that to you too. But I don't think we can get any better than where you're at now, man. God bless.